All right, good evening. Uh, so since I've had a couple of days to calm down, I wanted to have a quick discussion uh, about what does it mean to be you know, a decent human being. Seems like a pretty, pretty valid thing for us to talk about. So let me propose a question to you. Let's say you're heading home from work, going down the road you go down all the time, zipping on by, and in the right-hand lane you were to see a vehicle pulled over with their blinkers going, what would your first thought be? Well, if your brain functions, your thoughts probably, oh, they must be having car trouble, right? If you had any other thought pop in your head, you know, be, feel, feel free to comment, we'll discuss it. But most people would think, oh, they must be having car trouble. Now, if you're like most people, at that point, you're going to do one of three things. Either you're going to stop and help them, right? You're going to drive by and go on about your business, ignore them. Or you're going to drive by and flip them the bird because you had a bad day. I'm sorry, that's, that's three there, not this. Okay, so that's, that's, in my mind, the three options that I could foresee happening. Now I bring this up because I accidentally did Accidentally. I unintentionally did a little experiment with this the other day. A little sampling, if you will. <laughs> I was coming home from work and ran out of gas on the side of the road. Uh, you're probably going to say, well, you should have filled it up before you got there. I didn't have time. I was running late. Uh, I was pretty sure I could make it to the gas station on the way home, so I didn't worry about it. Well, I was wrong. I ran out of gas. Now, you say, well, why didn't you get in the middle lane and get out of the way? The answer to that question is because people were speeding by at 70 miles an hour in this 45 mile an hour road, and I couldn't get over. So, all that's irrelevant. But the point is, I was stuck on the side of the road, Turned on my flashers, sat there, started calling people, trying to figure out what the plan was, figure out what I was going to do. Uh, and two of my coworkers who go home the same way I did happened to drive by. They pulled over in the center lane. Now, this was a four lane road, by the way, so there's two on each side and then one in the middle. So it's not like I was blocking up the entire road. I was in a slow lane, I wasn't in the fast lane. But they pulled over and stopped, and one of them called me and, you know. Gave me a good little ribbing and said, hey, what's going on? Why are you sitting inside the, the road there, buddy? And I said, well, I ran out of gas, I'm pretty sure. He said, oh, well, let me run back to the plant. I'll get you a gas can so you can put some gas in there and get to the gas station around the corner. I said, thanks. So while he turned around and went back to the plant, got a gas can, came back, and you know, we, we filled it up. Or we filled it up. We put some gas in so I could get around the corner. The other guy who had stopped, who was another co-worker, backed his truck up in that center lane and turned on his blinkers as well to give people even more warning that, hey, there's something going on up here. So, I'm sitting there, and this is the south. It was probably 85 degrees. It was pretty hot. It wasn't exactly comfortable. But I'm sitting there, and I uh, don't have anything else to do, so I'm just kind of looking out the side of the window, you know, keeping an eye on the rear view to see when, you know, if some person is going to be texting and not notice me there, and, you know, whatever. And so I sort of doing a little mental exercise of saying, well, let's see what happens. Now, I'm going to say 75% of the people just drove on by and didn't do a thing. They had absolutely no concern other than, oh, I wonder what's going on. And that's fine, because I'm going to say, if it's me, and I'm not the one on the side of the road, but I'm passing by, if I'm in a hurry and I've got stuff to do and I don't have time to stop, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to just drive on by. We live in an age of cell phones and all this sort of stuff. I'm going to assume they've probably got someone to help them. But, that's wrong. That's, that's, you know, most what most people did. That's okay. Uh, I had a couple people who stopped to help. They were co-workers and they knew me, so it was a little bit different than some random person stopping. But, you know, most of your, most people aren't going to help, but some, you know, some will. Uh, me, if it's me and I see a car on the side of the road and you're having trouble, and I'm not in a hurry. Let's say I'm on the way home from work, or just driving around. I'll probably pull over and check and make sure that you know, make sure see if they need any help. You know, make sure they got a hold of somebody, something like that. So we had a couple people do that. Uh, so we had about three quarters who just drove by. A couple out of a hundred, probably, just guesstimating, who stopped. Um, that leaves what 23? It's almost say 22 of those people drove by and flipped me the bird. Now, 
is that necessarily the best thing to do to someone who's clearly already having a bad day? No, but that one I can at least sort of see. Because if I was having a really bad day and I'd been frustrated all day, and then some jerk was broke down in my lane and I had to get over and swerve over, maybe. Um, you, know, you might say, well, that's not very Christian of you. And that's true. It's not. It's not a nice thing to do. Um, but I don't believe in being fake about stuff. If you catch me on the wrong day at the wrong time in the wrong mood, yeah, I might, you know, I might flip somebody the bird in traffic. I'm just going to be real about it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be all holier than thou. And I would never do that. No, okay. I'm human. But that, at least, I can understand. Now, here is where I've come to the conclusion that I give humanity entirely too much credit for just general decency. Because in a billion years, I would not have foreseen the final person we're going to talk about in my grouping of a hundred, my sampling, um, I would have never foreseen this as an option in this situation. This guy, upon seeing distressed motorists on the side of the road, clearly in his way, I suppose, pulled up next to me, took the time to stop, roll down his window, and scream and cuss at me for a good, oh, ten seconds before slamming his foot on the gas and screeching tires off into the sunset. And I was honestly just flabbergasted by it happening because, again, on my worst day, I couldn't see doing that to someone who's already clearly having a bad day. So, like I said, I think, and, and again, I live in the South, okay? This is the, you know, the, 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 the Bible bell, the gentlemanly South, whatever you want to call it. Um, as a general rule, I think it's safe to say that people in the South are generally a bit more gracious than people in the North. You know, if you're a, if you're a Northerner, a Yankee, and you're offended by that, I'm sorry, but it's from what from what I've been able to see, largely true. It's a generalization, yes, but generalizations are here for a reason because they are, in general, true. Now there are some fine Yankee people who I've met who are just as gracious and loving and you know kind as your average Southerner, and there are also some Southerners I met who were just complete utter jerks, and apparently this guy was one of them, because he took the time to berate me on the side of the road as I was already in the, having a bad day. That being said, um, like I said, I believe I may have given humanity entirely too much credit for just general human decency. Or maybe that guy was just having a really god-awful day, I don't know. Uh, but it's something for all of us to think about, when you see someone in a bad situation, for example, stranded on the side of the road, having car trouble on the side of the road, whatever, if the only thing you can think of to do, if your only response that your brain can come up with is, well, I've got to pull up next to them and scream cuss words at them to make their already bad day even worse, just don't. I'm not even saying you've got to be nice and stop and help. If, but if all you can think of is the worst possible human reaction to a situation, that's all you can do. If that is your general modus operandi, then just don't interact with humanity. Go join a convent or a monastery or go climb Mount Everest. Do something other than deal with the rest of us. Because you, whoever you are, Mr. Moron in the car who pulled up and braided me. I hope I hope you happen to watch this video and you recognize me because that would make my day. You, if that's you, if you're watching and you're someone who says, well, I can understand that. I get that. I do that. Okay, then I'm talking to you and I'm telling you that you make the rest of us in humanity look bad. You make the rest of us look like jerks. So, uh, it's important for us as humans in general to remember human decency and then now, uh, I've kind of kept Jesus out of this whole speech so far because I wanted to talk to just general humanity first. But now we're going to cut it to the quick. If you are a Christian, if you claim to follow Jesus, and something like that is a regular part of your mindset and how you would react to a situation, you really need to have a good talk with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. That's all I'm saying. Um, now, I said earlier that if I had a bad day, I could see doing something not nice. But again, I couldn't see doing that. Um, 
it just completely blew my mind. So if you got any thoughts you want to share, any discussions you want to have, feel free to comment um, down below. Uh, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll talk again next time.